Shared Nothing Architecture is a computer system design approach in which each node in a distributed system is self-contained and independent with no shared memory or resources between nodes. That's why it is called Shared Nothing. In a Shared Nothing architecture, each node has its own processor, memory, and disk storage and communicates with the other nodes via a network. And that's what the Wikipedia definition about the share nothing architecture says too. That it's a distributed computing architecture in which each update request is satisfied by a single node in a computer cluster. The intent is to eliminate contention among nodes. Nodes do not share the same memory or storage. This design approach is often used in large scale distributed systems, such as data centers or cloud computing environments to provide scalability, reliability, and fault tolerance. Because each node is independent, share nothing architecture can be easily scaled by adding additional nodes to the system without requiring modification to the existing nodes. Share nothing architectures can also provide high availability and fault tolerance as the failure of a single node does not affect the availability of the entire system. In this architecture, data can be replicated across multiple nodes. So if one node fails, the data is still available from other nodes. One common example of a shared nothing architecture is a shredded database where data is partitioned across multiple nodes with each node responsible for a specific subset of the data. Another example is a distributed file system where files are distributed across multiple nodes with each node responsible for storing and retrieving specific files. It is often compared with the shared disk architecture. So how it is different from that? Although from, it is clear from the name itself, one is shared nothing and another is shared disk. But let's see what, what exactly is this difference. So shared nothing architecture and shared disk architecture as clear from the na their name are the two different approaches to designing distributed computer systems. In share nothing architecture, each node in the system has its own memory, storage and processing power, and there is no shared resource between the nodes. In contrast, in shared disk architecture, multiple nodes share a common disk or a storage system, and the data can be accessed by any node in the system. So what's the advantage of such an architecture? The primary advantage of shared disk architecture is that it allows for more efficient sharing of data between nodes as data can be accessed by any node in the system. This makes shared disk architecture a good fit for applications that require a high degree of data sharing or data consistency, such as transaction processing or data warehousing. However, this architecture can also suffer from performance and scalability issues as multiple nodes accessing a shared disk can create contention and cause performance bottlenecks. Additionally, such architectures are less fault tolerant than the shared nothing architecture as a failure in the shared disk or storage system can affect the availability of the entire system. In contrast, in the shared nothing architectures, there are more options for scalability and fault tolerance because each node is independent and can be easily scaled or replaced without affecting the availability of the entire system. So that's why the share nothing architectures are a good fit for the applications that require high scalability, like web services, or the applications that require fault tolerance and availability, like data applications or distributed file systems. But overall, the choice between shared nothing architecture and shared disk architecture depends on your specific requirements, your specific requirements of your project, your application, including the degree of data sharing, scalability, 
fault tolerance and the performance needs of your system.